All this grinding has led to one thing. This moment, defeating my lengthy self with the best sword in the game. Which I'm about to buy, check this out. You're banned. Psh. Hey, excuse me, yeah, you're banned. Hey, light pole right here, yeah, banned. See this pet? Banned, oh, I missed. Banned, ah, I keep missing, banned. There we go. That's right, everyone. Today we're in Banning Simulator 2, the sequel. Okay, this game was good enough to warrant a sequel, apparently, so it must be good. The first one was fun, and this one is also fun, I hope, because we're playing it, so hopefully it's fun. You basically do exactly what you would think from the name Banning Simulator. You just ban people, all right? They have various YouTubers and developers in the game as NPCs, and they're running around right there. Is that Isaac? Who is that? I don't know who this is, but for example, this guy right here is, oh, that's new item. New item is a dev. I can't remember if he's the dev that made. I think he made like the uh, the, um, slime. Uh, oh, what is it called? It's a popular simulator dev, but there's a lot of different devs and YouTubers in this game. And I was in the first one and I, I had to ban myself. All right. So that's what I hope happens today. I hope that I ban myself and defeat myself with a hammer. <laughs> that's not something I thought I would say, but I'm saying it for the second time. All right. This is the sequel. So if you guys are excited for today's video and you want to see me and myself, and other various YouTubers and devs, then smash the like button, please. It takes like a second and it helps me in the YouTube algorithm. It boosts the video, so you might as well just hit it. Can we get to 5,000 likes? So if you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I noticed that like 50% of you, maybe even 60% of you guys on the analytics are not subscribed. What are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. It's red. You click it. You can help us get to our goal of 2 million subs by the end of this quarantine, okay? <laughs> if we hit that, that would be insane. So subscribe today, hit the notification bell as well to never miss a video, and let's get into it. In the game, it's not like every other simulator where you basically just click and you earn stuff. Like, I'm clicking right now with my hammer and nothing's happening. By the way, this is the starting point. You start off with a stone hammer. That's the beginning. I haven't done a thing in this game. Haven't even purchased anything yet. <laughs> Seriously though, I have not. This is the first guy, new item. So basically you encounter, in every area you encounter different NPCs and you go up to them and you smack them with your hammer. What is this? Is that like a, that's kind of creepy. Is that a face? What is this? What is this random ball of face? It's creepy. Anyway, this is new item. It's the only NPC in this area, I think. But in the other game, they had like bosses. So there was like one YouTuber or dev that was like, the main NPC that just kind of walked around and then there was one boss. And I was a boss in the last one, so hopefully we're a boss again. But let me just kill one of these guys just to show you guys what happened. So I'm gonna go over here. Excuse me, this guy's weak. Ha, huh. got him! And I just got five coins and five whatever this is. So you get money and you get, wait, what is that? I don't know what that is. Am I supposed to sell it? What do I do with this? It says I have one ban, I'm level one and I have five gold. So I don't exactly know what that is, but this is the coins. I guess once that fills up, I'm supposed to sell, but I don't see <laughs> Banland. I don't see like a sell option. Like, is there a sell area? I'm confused. Let me just KO these guys until I get 15 and see what happens. Come here, buddy. I'm not sure if they switched the mechanics from the last game. Like, I don't know if it's any different, but I do know that there's no sound effects when I'm hitting people and it's a little bit weird. All right, come here, new item. Come here, show yourself. Also, are there no bosses? Oh, I did it. Oh, I defeated it. That's experience. That's what that is, guys. It's experience. So if you get up to 15, the you level up to level two. Now I'm level two, and then I have to level up, get 16, and then I go to level three, and so on. And as you level up, I guess maybe you get higher stats? I don't really know what happens. There's also a pet index. So there's a lot of pets in this game that we got to explore. I don't have any to start with, nothing available. If you guys know any codes or whatever, let me know in the comment section below and uh, help us out. We also have, oh, the portable shop. So this is the only shop in the game right here. Let's check out the shop to see what they got going on. I'm sure they have obviously weapons and, oh, that's all they have. Wait, that's it? Only these few weapons? Bro, this game must have just came out. It did, it just came out today, I didn't even realize. All right, well, they only have a few weapons. Maybe, maybe they have other weapons in other areas. That would make sense, I think. I'm not really sure. But the next one is Katana and it's a thousand coins. So it's a little bit expensive. Then we got the Sun Blaze Rod, the Wizard Scythe, the UFO Scythe. This literally has nothing to do with UFOs. It's a bat. It looks like a bat. I don't know why it's called a UFO Scythe. Then we got the Death Blade, the Winter Blade, and the Omega Tri Blade. Two 
1,000 damage compared to this 10, and it's $300,000. That's, that's pretty expensive. There's literally nothing though. There's, I, I thought there were, is there game passes? On the actual page, there are game passes, but interestingly, there's no like way to get to the game passes on the UI. Is there? Yeah, there's no way. How are you supposed to get the game pass? So you can only get the game passes on the game page, I believe. But anyways, I'm looking at the game page right now. They have times two bands, times two coins, times two XP, times two gems, times two luck, all the typical simulator things. They also have VIP plus four pets and a, a lot more. There's literally like 20 game passes. So we might check out some of those in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and start banning these noobs and see if we can make it to the first area without even buying a thing. That's actually my goal. No money spent. So there we go. We got ourselves 45 coins. Wow, this is taking a really long time. Now, every single new item that I kill, every single one of this guy that I that I eliminate, I'm getting five experience. So I'm leveling up really quickly. Like maybe, d does your level have anything to do with like how, how much damage you do or how much like money you earn? I have no idea what level means. Maybe experience is just like for no reason. Like, <laughs> is there even a reason for leveling? I think it's just to get on the leaderboards because I did see that there was a leaderboards for levels. Maybe that's the only thing. These guys are the top leveled in the game and the game, since the game just came out, level 103, that's not even that high. We might be able to get on there. Yo, you know what? From this moment on, I'm just going crazy. I'm about to buy some stuff with Robux. I'm about to buy some game passes because I want to pass these guys. There's only a few people in the hundreds and I'm at level f what three already? That's not bad. I didn't even spend anything. So if we spend stuff, imagine how OP we can get. Okay, hang on, I'll be right back. Guys, okay, so I'm back in the game and I happened to buy a little over half the game passes. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I got a ton. So I got the VIP game pass. It gives me two times walk speed. And then I also got the two times walk speed, which means I'd be like running around now. <laughs> I'm going really fast. Now let's see how much I get for killing these enemies now. So I'm doing a lot more damage. I'm leveling up so fast. And this is just with the stone hammer, bro. Imagine once I have the best hammer. Look at me go. Okay, why do they move so much? They like, they like move around way too much. <laughs> also, is there no boss? I thought there was a boss in every area, which I was kind of hyped for, but I guess there's no, what happened to this guy? Sorry about that, sir. I hope I didn't hurt you. We're doing a lot of damage and we're KOing these guys really quickly, but we're still not making that much money. So I guess maybe we need to get some pets. I'm assuming that's like the next step because we're gonna need to get multipliers. What about this one? How much is this? 50K, this is, the, this is an event egg. Apparently the game just came out and they're already doing an event egg for 50K, uh, 50K coins, not 50K Robux. This is 500, this is 3K, this is 10K, and this is 30K. So all of these are out of my budget, of course. Check this out, if you join the group, you get an exclusive pet. You know what, we need that. We absolutely need that. So I'm gonna join the group right now. And oh, I gotta verify stuff. Hang on, I gotta verify this top hat. Which way is it facing? Verifying is so hard. I figured it out, I did it. Okay, there it is, we verified and we got the pet right here. What? It's that good? It's a sad serpent. Oh, that's kind of sad. It do be really sad though. But here it is, the sad serpent. Is that what we get from the, that doesn't look like the group pet. Maybe you just get a random pet and I happen to get a legendary? That's insane. I think that's what happened. All right, well, let's see what the multiplier is like. So we're gonna kill this guy again. 685, bam, a thousand. We made it. We made it to the next zone. That's what I'm talking about. And the next zone has Dan TDM here. Ah, my arch nemesis. I'm kidding, I love Dan TDM. But Dan TDM is right here. He doesn't play Roblox that much anymore, but he is still like one of the most popular people that have played it, so he's in the game. I hope I'm in the game. That would be pretty epic. I was in the first one. I don't know if it's made by the same exact people, but I hope I am. Comment down below how far you guys got in this game if you did play it yourself. And uh, if you use code Russo when buying Robux or Premium, I would be very happy. Let me know in the comments if you did that, and I'm gonna pin somebody's comment. We have money. We finally have a thousand bucks, which means I think we can buy the next thing, right? We can buy the katana, yes! Oh, nice. All right, bam. So we bought the katana. Now I can probably one hit these guys, easily one hit these guys, oh my gosh. And then I could probably like two hit Dr. Uh, Dr. Trey Block. One hit? Am I one hitting? Oh, I'm two hitting. That's huge. That's what I'm talking about. How much do I need in the next area? I can already go to the next area. Now I'm flying through. Okay, who's this? This is uh, Real YouTube Alpha GG. 
So let's go ahead and destroy him. Bam. It's nothing against you, bro. I just got to kill you because it's part of the game, okay? They made me do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was asked to murder you. Don't murder in real life. Only murder in this game, guys. I am flying up, though. What's in the next area? The next area is... Oh! The next area has no enemies, it looks like, but there is an egg. So I wonder if they're going to have other areas where there's, like, shops and stuff because it's kind of weird. Wait, what is this? Why, why is he like stuck? Are you stuck in here, bro? What's going on? <laughs> Some of these guys are stuck, bro. Can't even fight them. That's, this game is weird. I thought there would be bosses too, but there's not. And there's people stuck in the floor. They move way too much, bro. Stop moving. I'm trying to kill you. Can you stop moving? Can you just let me kill you in peace? <laughs> I almost have enough to get to the next area. Actually, not really. That's kind of a lie. I have fi almost 5,000, I have 12,000. But there's an egg there, so I'm hoping that that's gonna help me out. Sorry, but I gotta ban you. Wait a second, so I, am I in the game? Somebody in the chat said, sorry, I gotta ban you. Maybe I'm in the game. All right, I gotta get further, guys. I gotta get further. Wait, it was it this guy that said it? Maybe it, was, it wasn't. Somebody else said they gotta ban me. I think I might be in the game further in. Oh my gosh, I gotta check. I have to check. Is there no way to buy coins or anything? Like, they just don't have a shop. They straight up just don't have a shop. The only shop they have. Let's buy the portable shop and see if it somehow gives me more options. So, uh, oh, I already bought it, bro. Uh, is it gonna work? Did it work? That's, that's not good. It's not working. Oh my gosh, that person's a box. They're a box. That's sick. That's the UGC. All right, yeah, so I don't really know what else to do at this point other than maybe just get some pets. Because if I have more multipliers, it'll probably help a lot more, obviously. So let's equip this guy. Even though I already have a legendary pet, let's equip the one I just got and get some more multipliers. We also really need coins for this, but apparently they have no other shops I I can see. So uh, that's all they got, bro. Well, our goal is to get to the best hammer and ban the hardest player in the game to ban, but I guess it's gonna take a lot of grinding because we we can't unfortunately buy coins in this game. So we have to play legit. I'm kidding. I don't hate playing games legit. I just, I like to show you guys the craziest aspects of these games and get as far as possible. And it's definitely easier when I can just spend Robux, save myself some time and show you guys absolutely crazy stuff in the games. But I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding here. All right, let me know how far you guys got in the game yourselves. I'm getting like a thousand, I think I'm getting like a thousand every single time I kill one of these alpha GGs. So that's not going to take too long. I need to kill like 12 of them to get to the next area. And then we're going to have to get a better sword. Oh yeah, I'll probably just get a better sword. Should I get a better sword? That'll probably be quicker, huh? Like all I have is the katana right now. If I get another sword and I'm like one hitting this guy, this will be a piece of cake. But if I get to the next area, I could see that pet though. I don't know. This is tough. I think I'm going to go for a new sword after this. Let's take out Alpha GG one more time and see how much it costs for like the best sword I can get at the moment because that would make life a lot easier. Excuse me, Dan TDM, you got in my way. I didn't mean to eliminate you. You just jumped right in front of me and I had to slay you. <laughs> oh my gosh, this feels really bad, man. Oh, I got the portable shop, I forgot, I'm stupid. All right, um, this thing's 5K, that's 20. Let's get this. Let's get the Sun Blaze Rod. Uh, wait, did it work? Uh, did it, did it work? Oh, it did. Bam, the sun blaze rod. So I can easily eliminate these guys like I've already been doing. No sweat there. Wait, how much am I, am I getting almost a thousand? I'm getting a lot from these guys. This is easy. This is easy grind. What about Dan TDM? How much does he give me? He gives me a lot too. I feel like the other guys are way harder. Like the Alpha GG doesn't give me anything and they're, they're way harder to kill. Look at this. I'm flying up, bro. I'm flying up in the money. I'm at 15. All right, well, we can buy our way to the next area. How, how easy it is, is it to kill this guy now? It's still hard. It's still difficult. You're so hard to kill, brother. You be strong, though. All right, let's buy the next area. Bam. We made it to the next area. How many areas are there? It looks like there's a good amount left. <laughs> so who's in the next area? That looks like Henry Dev, which is the dev of... <gasps> Guys, I think that's me. <laughs> and I'm huge. I have super long. I think that's me and I have super long legs. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly not like 100% certain that's me. But if it is me and they made me like giant tall, that's hilarious. Because I'm actually tall in real life. I'm like 6'2". Um, here's the egg we made it to. It's 100k for this. So that's definitely gonna be pretty hard to buy. We can't buy it yet. 
We're gonna have to go kill uh, Alpha GGs some more and maybe some Dan TDMs, but we're making our way to the next area, which I think has me in it, dude. That's pretty OP. Yeah, Dan TDM seems to be like the highest profit because we can just kill him in like one hit instantly. And he gives me a thousand every time. So look how quick I'm growing. They're all getting stuck in the rock, bro. Yeah, look at this, so quickly. 13K, 14K, 15K. This is definitely the quickest way to profit. And then I go back here, new item. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that, I'm making money like crazy. Now I can actually buy the next sword, which would be pretty good, but I kind of want to unlock the next area next. Next area next. Comment down below if you guys banned me from this game. And uh, hopefully I'll be banning myself in a minute. I gotta do a little bit more grinding though, and I'll see you guys when we get to my area, hopefully. Honestly, even though it's like pay to win, I wish there was a way to buy coins because the game progression in this is kind of slow. Like I bought all the game passes and it's still taking me a while. And like, you'd think that maybe I should be killing this Alpha GG guy because he's in the higher tier and it's it should be making me more coins. Nope, it's not really making me much more coins. It's making me like the same amount of coins. Like when I kill Alpha GG, look at this. It gives me like barely 2000. And then with him, it gives me like a thousand or so usually so it's kind of weird i don't know like how to grind the game that much but i do have a better weapon now i got all the way up to this weapon so i'm like halfway to the highest weapon in the game if there's no other shops and uh there's nothing in this area bro there's an area right here with a chest there's an area right here with nothing in it like no enemies and this is the russo plays area this is what i've been wanting wait okay there we go this is it <laughs> that's me dude this is literally me and i'm huge i'm just a giant bro why am i so giant look at me i'm defeating myself <laughs> i'm defeating myself i don't know why my proportions are so giant maybe that's like the proportions of my character i have no idea but they made me huge i'm actually 6'2 in real life so i'm kind of tall but yo look at me i have to ban myself from the game you're not actually killing you're only banning, but <laughs> check me out, bro. It's me. It's me, the Russo plays boss, except I'm freaking huge. <laughs> I love it, dude. This guy looks good, although his hairline's a little bit worse than mine, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, if that's how the, the developer perceives me, then that's fine. <laughs> also, this weapon is like the worst weapon in the game. Like it's not, look at this. I'm smacking the crap out of this, it's not working. It like doesn't work. You have to like stand like far away. Why is it not working? What is with this wizard site? It's not doing any damage. It's like totally broken. I have no idea if it's the scythe or what, but this is the next area. And it seems like there's tons more areas. So I don't know how far we're gonna get in this episode, but at least we made it to myself. Let me know in the comments if you guys banned Russo plays from the game yourselves. I think my goal is just to get to the highest sword possible. So we're gonna try and get to the Omega Tri-Blade and then see what happens. Hopefully we can get there. But first, let's destroy myself. Die me. All this grinding has led to one thing. This moment, defeating my lengthy self with the best sword in the game. Which I'm about to buy, check this out. Omega Tri-Blade, 2,000 damage, 300,000 coins, Apparently, this is the best sword you can get because I the, the, the game is new and this is the entire shop as far as I know. Look how sad my pet is, bro. It's because you guys didn't like the video yet. One like equals my pet is no longer sad. Also, use code Russo when buying Robux or Premium. This guy does. Actually, he doesn't because he's sad. But this guy does. That's what you look like when you use code Russo. That's what you look like when you don't. <laughs> Anyways, this is the best sword of the game. And oh my gosh, look at the aura. That is actually sick. That looks crazy. So now we can defeat my myself in one blow, one hit, bam. Look at that, I just defeated two of me, just like that. I'm no match for myself. <laughs> I'm no match for me, but I will defeat me eventually. Oh, how did I get up there? <laughs> hey, me, come down from there, me. Yo, me, me, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Die, me, <laughs> this is a weird game. But I think I'm gonna wrap it up there because I defeated myself, which was the entire main goal. And I also got the best sword in the game. And there's not much else to do other than just progress through, but it's gonna take me a really long time to get the money for it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, 
Then smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek into one other area. If you guys want to see another video on this, let me know. And if you guys got farther than me, let me know in the comments and go ahead and you can brag to me. That's fine. Can I, can I not get through? Bam. This is the next area and it's a freaking, who is that? Overhash? I don't know who that is. Maybe it's a dev or something, but he gives a lot of money. So it's going to be a, a little grind. And then Asimo, Asimo with the freaking, the, the, <laughs> the little water tube. That's funny, and I'm almost to the final area. There oh no, there's actually a lot more after this. Oh, well, it's gonna be a long grind. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Take it easy, and go watch some more videos while you're at it. Bye.